Hello, my name is Michael Hingston. I'm a writer and a book publisher based here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And today I'm making a YouTube video. I'm making my very first YouTube video. Uh, why? Because I'm procrastinating my actual work, clearly. The other day I sent an email to my editor uh, in which I attached the first half of a new book that I'm writing, about 40,000 words. Uh, it took a long time to write. I'm quite proud of it. It took uh, folders of papers. I had to read lots of books, do lots of legwork. And once I sent it in, I had this feeling that dawns on you sometimes after you complete something that's difficult where you think, I don't know <laughs> what to do now. And so I decided I'm going to fill some of that time uh, by trying something new. Specifically, the thing I'm trying to do here is fill a gap on YouTube that I identify, which is uh, when I am looking for distractions or late at night when I'm trying to decompress, I do search YouTube and I'm looking for literary videos. And I know that there's a lot of uh, readers out there and some writers who do this kind of stuff who talk mostly about their reading, right? Or issues around reading, issues around literature. What I was looking for selfishly for, you know, interest for my own project as much as anything else was I wanted to see someone talk about writing. I wanted to see someone talk about, you know, the actual process of, of making a nonfiction book, which is what I, what I do. Uh, and I wasn't really seeing it. You know, I'm someone who likes to share stuff that I learn about the writing world. Um, and I thought maybe this would be a chance for me to see if that's something I can do too. What happens if I give away what I'm working on for a book that you're not going to see for 18 months? Will someone scoop me and write the book before mine comes out? I don't think so, but maybe they will. I obviously have a lot to learn. Okay, maybe uh, we'll back up first and I'll tell you a little bit about myself because I think that's going to be helpful here. Um, my name is Michael, like I said. Uh, please call me Mike. I go by Michael on the page to look professional. Uh, in real life, only my mother calls me that and people who are writing me an email for the first time. I'm also the author of two books. Uh, oh, which I can, I can show you. The first book I published was a novel. It came out in 2013. It's called The Dilettantes. Uh, it's a campus novel, takes place at a student newspaper uh, in the west coast of Canada, and it came out in Canada in 2013, and oh, it came out in Germany in 2014. The company that published it in Germany in 2014 is now out of business, and I feel that I am partly responsible for that. My second book is a piece of nonfiction about the comic strip Calvin and Hobbes. It's called Let's Go Exploring and it was published by ECW Press in 2018. The Dilettantes, 2013, published by Freehand Press out of Calgary, Alberta. Uh, I'm also a book publisher. For the last couple years, a friend of mine and I have run a two-person outfit called Hingston and Olson, uh, where I do the editorial work. Uh, Natalie Olson, my partner, does all the design stuff, and we publish fancy box sets like this, the short story advent calendar, which has been out for the last four years in a row, collections of uh, individually bound short stories that you open one by one on the mornings leading up to Christmas. Each day uh, is a surprise author that you discover when you crack the seal and look inside. We also publish something called The Ghost Box, which is an anthology of scary stories, uh, which is put together for us by the comedian Patton Oswalt, um, who's a horror expert and he gives us um, lists of some of his favorite scary stories and we put them into these beautiful deluxe fancy uh, sets. The ghost box is cool. It has a little magnet in the lid. Sounds like a coffin clicking. Very cool. I'll put links down below in case you're interested in learning more about either of my books or uh, anything that my press puts out. We have books on sale right now. Uh, my own two books, I'd be happy to send you a signed copy in the mail if you're interested in such things because I have boxes of them in my closet and in various corners of my house. Is there a larger plan for this channel? Uh, no, there is not. Basically, I'm just a writer who works from home every day. Uh, I drop my kids off at school in the morning. I pick them up at the end. In between, uh, I read books. I work on writing future books. Uh, I work on publishing books. And I just thought it would be cool um, to send occasional dispatches from inside the stuff that I'm working on. I know booktubers do things like bookshelf tours. My shelves live behind me on this wall of my house. Um, maybe one day we can look at that stuff. I also want to show you some research that I'm working on and talk about kind of the mechanics of making a book of, of nonfiction. The project I'm working on right now requires a lot of research, a lot of primary documents, and I'm having a lot of fun with it and I don't have a lot of uh, 
outlets of people in my life who want to look at, you know, uh, long shelves worth of manila envelopes and folders. So if you are a person who enjoys that kind of thing, then uh, we might get along. Here is some footage of some folders that I'm adding in post-production. Here are some more folders that I'm adding in post-production. So basically there's no regular schedule, but you know, as things come up, Let's be honest, probably the day after I send things in is when I'll probably feel like I've got time for this. I'd also like to talk about, you know, tips and things that I've learned about writing over the years. Last year, I was the writer in residence at a series of libraries in and around Edmonton. And one of the things I really loved about that job was taking stuff that I've learned uh, over the past decade as a freelancer and now as a writer of books and just sharing it with people so they don't have to learn it from scratch the way I did. A lot of writers work in isolation and that's great and useful for focus, I think. I like working from home, for instance. I don't wanna be in a coffee shop, but when you work by yourself, it does mean that you have to learn things from scratch. You're not able to pass on that knowledge that you've learned to your peers in, a, in an easy way. And so one thing I've tried to do over the years through my website and other places is take things that I've learned and just give them away. I want people to be able to to not have to slog from, from square one like I did and like so many other writers have to do. So maybe that's something I can continue here too is taking things that I've learned, you know, seminars I've given, tips and tricks that I've learned, other documents, and pass them on in case they're of interest to people who are who are just starting out and are trying to, to figure out how, you know, how to make writing work for them or people who are interested in the business of writing, which is a big thing that we don't talk about enough in my opinion. You know, I think that's ultimately the right thing to do is to pass that information on to as many people as possible in as wide a format as possible. So uh, hopefully it's of use to you. And uh, you know, if you have questions or suggestions or anything that you're interested in, uh, leave me a comment. Right, YouTube comments are I think very positive places where people are always constructive. If you want to point out that I'm balding, you can also do that down below. And I think that's it for now. Uh, I haven't done one of these before, so I'm assuming that uh, this is all going to look fine by the time you see it. Uh, I'm also going to experiment with things like jump cuts. <laughs> so we'll see uh, if any of this adds up to anything at all. Uh, okay, thank you for watching.